Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is our ice news analyst, Emmanuel Great Malabite Ifeni. Good morning, Ruben. How was his start? <laughs> Good morning, Ayo. Good morning, uh, Sam. Yes, we'll start this review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. I will just start from the masthead. Autumn, we will not be provoked into taking up arms against anyone. Yes. Atiku condemns Benue Zamfara killings, urges federal government to protect citizens. Police confirm escalation of banditry in Sokoto. Informants sabotaging our efforts, military official hints. Yes, the killings in Benue. Over 134 people killed in, in less than one week. And it uh, tells you the situation in Benue State. Yes, I feel for... Uh, the governor, Samuel Otom, he has been dealing with this uh, for the better part of his administration, the insecurity, and of course, he points his accusing fingers at Fulani headsmen, uh, to use his own words. And uh, Benue is one area where the president, uh, President Mohamed Buhari, is yet to uh, bring uh, succor to the people. At one time, the president even asked his, the IG there to relocate to Benue State in order to arrest the situation of insecurity. But by the, the IG then simply ignored the president. And that in itself was a story on its own. But the new governor, the governor-elect, the incoming governor, <coughs> uh, priest-turned-politician, uh, will see how he will handle this situation. Because we recall that when the Benue State House of Assembly passed an uh, anti-open grazing law, and it was signed uh, into an, uh, in, it was signed by the governor. Yes, certain groups, Meiti Allah, said if that law is implemented, there will be bloodbath. And ever since, there have been bloodbath in uh, in Benue State and. Those who made such statements uh, never arrested or brought to book. Sad story. And of course, if 18 of 23 local governments are occupied uh, by these uh, headers who cause trouble in Benue State, I don't see how that state will prosper. So great, big work for the next governor, um, the reverend gentleman, who is now a politician, Ilya. So, we we'll just move on to the next story. Of course, at Eastern Nigerian leaders advocates love among people. Oshiba Josi J N Khan of Baseki others urge reciprocity in Christ-like values. Yes, the essence, the significance of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Ah, the, Ruben, you are quoting the scriptures. Well, you are you are not doing badly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, but the essence is that we must reflect. Uh, the Christ-like virtue in our lives and in our lifestyle. It must be part of our character and characteristics as a people, uh, not just the celebration, as Ruben would put it, the jollof in and pepper soup that goes with all that. But, of course, there are messages from uh, leaders across the country. Now, the lead story, tributes pour in as Bola Ajibola 89 is buried in Abel Kuta, Buhari, Obasanjo, IBB, Tinubu, Oshibaju. Atiku, Lawan, Abiodun, Somolu, others mourn, pay last respect. Appointed him AGF against position of people who describe him as controversial, says ex-military leader, reveals the disease didn't receive salary throughout his service to fatherland. What a man. Yes, a legal giant has uh, departed. Prince Bola Ajibola passed away um, yesterday at the ripe age, you will say, of 89. Yes, but it is instructive that when you talk of leg legal giants, they don't come bigger than Prince Bola Ajibola, former uh, Nigerian Bar Association president, former attorney general of the Federation, of course, one time jurist at the International Court of Justice at the Hague. And, uh, he spent the last leg of his life as an educationist, as an educationist, 
who set up the Crescent University, as Ruben rightly attested to, producing that university, producing quality uh, graduates for the nation. So, um, of course, if the photograph, front page of uh, this day, farewell to Prince of the Golden Era of Jurisprudence. You see Olushegun um, Oshoba, former governor of Ogun State there, the first son of Prince Bola Jiwala, and of course, the vice president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, a mentee of Prince Bola Ajibola. Of course, um, it was good to hear um, the tributes of uh, Professor Oshibajo, who described um, um, uh, Prince Bola, Bola in glowing terms as a diplomat, jurist, educationist, or any other role that you may wish to describe the late Prince Bola Ajibola, what is consistent about his character is the overwhelming presence of rectitude and forbearance in every of his endeavors. I hope that will be said of many people at their deaths. That is what people should work towards. But Professor Oshibaju making a uh, paying tribute to the late Prince Bola Ajibola. And of course, that's why when some people point to the vice president as somebody that was picked by somebody, uh, we tell them that he has been made. He worked with the likes of Prince Bola Ajibola, even at The Hague, uh, long before somebody decided to pick him as Attorney General of Lagos State. And of course, you recall that his brother was also Attorney General uh, in, uh, in um, Ogun, that's State. Ogun State. So tells you not uh, uh, Professor Yemi Oshibaju has come a long way. A mentee of Prince Bola, Jibola, but today we're talking about his mentor, the late Prince Bola Ajibola. Now, other stories quickly. The Nigerian Tribune, National Assembly officers, APC governors may open talks with aspirants. Gang up against Southeast Stickings. Group cautions Northern contestants. PDP eyes National Assembly presiding officers' position. Well, it is not impossible. With some, some uh, positions, of course, uh, elections into the National Assembly still uh, up for grabs uh, at the next the, on April 15, when the INEC will conduct the remaining elections. Perhaps if, uh, the PDP and other minority parties can dream. But on that day, the, the, the senators and the legislators in the lower house will decide who will be the leader of the 10th National Assembly. Now, uh, New Telegraph, Tinubu's cabinet payback time for Northern APC governors overrules in presidential primary. Wiki to nominate a minister. Ganduje Wale Edu penciled down for FCT finance ministers. Rebadu fire me. Namani on ministerial list. Yes, peep into what would be Bola Mestinibu's uh, cabinet. Being, of course, these are still uh, at the level of speculation, but some names uh, you can be sure will pop up. The, the northern governors. Of course, their insistence on having a southern president also a uh, prop at uh, Bola uh, uh, candidacy, especially at the convention of the APC. Now, the Vanguard newspaper supplementary polls opposition parties rally to seize control of National Assembly. I2 Goba, uh, five senatorial, 31 reps, and 57 state assembly seats. Opposition lawmakers elect speak. Now, other stories. The Punch newspaper, fuel subsidy removal, marketers, six CBN um, loans for 30,000 gas stations. Gas stations to cushion subsidy removal effect as PMS may sell for 750 naira per liter. NATO wants end to subsidy, NLC to meet incoming government over removal dates. Now, the nation newspaper, governors under pressure over security vote spending. Federal agencies, NFIU, EFCC, seek movement of accounts to CBM for proper monitoring. Now, the Daily Sun newspaper, Kuka to Supreme Court, don't disappoint Nigerians. Stars, Buhari, Tinubu on unity, corruption, 
You have fought a good fight. Keep dreams alive. Priest urges Nigerians. Reverend Father Kuka delivering his Easter homily, as it were. They, below the, uh, the photograph there, day of blood sorrow in Lagos, Enugu. Government killed police, injured others in Lagos. 15 <coughs> burned to death in Enugu highway crash. Now, if we just look at one foreign newspaper quickly, the Guardian newspaper, yes, the Guardian newspaper, UK's, UK's not close being a racially just society finds two years study. Yes, a recent study published showed that over a third of people from the ethnic and religious minorities have experienced racially motivated physical or verbal abuse in their lifetime, according to this report, which is the biggest in the last 25 years. So ministers have been urged to take action to ensure the tackle what is described as substantially ethnic inequalities found in British institutions. Okay, well, unfortunately, we don't have more, more time. We need to go. But there is a story saying that uh, the UK has now prepared a red list, uh, amber list, green list of persons that can be recruited into the health sector in the UK. And Nigeria is on the red list, which means that uh, if you are in Nigeria, except you are living in another country, you may not get a chance to go and work as a nurse or as a doctor uh, in the UK. Well, I don't know. Perhaps maybe after they have taken more than enough. Well, I don't, know. I don't know how that will, will, <laughs> yeah. will work. But there's reference to government to government. Yes. Could this be, you know, the hand of Esau and the voice <laughs> of Jacob? But in any case, thank you very much, Emmanuel Efeni. Thank you.